Almost three years ago, the unforeseen pandemic wreaked havoc on all aspects of our lives all around the globe. It was a traumatic time for everyone. Unfortunately, more so because of our government's mishandling of the crisis rather than the damage from the virus itself. Our freedoms were stripped for our so-called protection. But now we're past halfway through 2023. The pandemic is over by every metric. And everyone wants to leave those days behind. Alberta's premier, Danielle Smith, out of many, definitely wants that. Under her renewed leadership, Alberta is finally taking off its masks, breathing the sweet freedom promised by Smith and the UCP. Stick around and we'll tell you who are the last to be finally freed from the authoritarian mask mandates, what it has to do with Danielle Smith, and more. Welcome to Street Politics Canada. Last Thursday, Alberta Health Services stated that the masking requirements for staff, patients, and visitors in all of its hospitals and contracted locations would be finally eliminated. Following Smith's directions, Minister of Health Adriana Lagrange, who was sworn in on June 9 and before that served as the Minister of Education, made the decision that Alberta Health Services should return to pre-pandemic policies, which preserve the right for the medical staff, the patients, and the relatives to not wear masks when it's not necessary. This directive has came into effect starting June 19, 2023. What prompted Adriana Lagrange to take this action? Albertans are ready to move forward, she stated. Following through on Smith's directive, Lagrange wants to turn the page and get rid of relics of the pandemic. She wants a fresh start where government can restore for Albertans the blessing of a normal life without the constant dread of a pandemic that's already over. Lagrange, a mother of seven and grandmother of seven as well, would obviously not push forward a directive that would jeopardize the lives of others if it wasn't the right time for it. Honestly, it could have even been done much earlier. The staff, patients, and visitors were free again to opt for the decisions that made them most comfortable. Why can't such a matter be their choice? The somber days are behind us, and it's everyone's right to see the light again as they wish. The determination is based on the recently dwindling positive test results, COVID-19, wastewater data analysis, and hospital admission rates for respiratory illnesses in Alberta. So the UCP-supported decision is built upon a strong factual foundation that liberals cannot argue against. There was a time when wearing a mask was mandatory, but moving forward, what we all need now is to respect the choice to not wear a mask when it's not necessary and to wear it voluntarily as desired. Nevertheless, it's not out of the question that if patients ask healthcare providers to wear one, they will do so. However, Alberta Health Services made it clear when a citizen needs to wear a mask and when he's obligated to, preventing any confusion between their freedom to make a choice and their life's safety backstop. The fight for a better Alberta was paused because of the failed NDP liberal-supported control of Alberta, followed by Ottawa's devastating mishandling of the pandemic, which sent our economy to ruin. Smith will sweep everything pandemic-related away, and under her leadership, all Albertans can expect better days. Albertans, you deserve better. You deserve so much better, said Alberta NDP leader, Rachel Notley. And guess what? Alberta did get the best, which is Premier Danielle Smith, who took it upon herself to provide better education and health care for the Albertans. The Alberta election was held on May 29, 2023, and results were announced on June 8. With Daniel Smith representing the United Conservative Party and Rachel Notley representing the New Democratic Party, the UCP secured a landslide victory with 52.6% of the vote. Before winning again, Smith had already been premier since October 2022. Back then, she wanted to deliver on promises the UCP made for Albertans, such as protecting public safety, generating economic growth through low levels of taxation, and reducing debt. However, Smith didn't just direct her efforts at adults, she also deeply cared for children. She wants to make kids learn and grow in a normal environment, which is why she announced that the government will not permit any further masking mandates for children in Alberta's K-12 education system. The goal is to keep children's mental health stable and help them develop in a normal context. Smith moved forward with this decision, due to her confidence that all Albertan parents want what's best for their children because no parent wants to watch their child grow in an unnecessarily non-nurturing and controlling environment. If the worst comes and any child gets sick, parents should be vigilant enough to make them stay home until they're better, just like every sane person always did throughout history. Unlike others who thought shutting down schools was a good idea. This is not a personal vision, though. Smith has her own team of advisors to guide her on public health policy. So every step she takes is well thought out, and every decision she makes is made to guarantee the best health care for Albertans. These are the simplest reasons why Smith is the finest fit to serve as Premier. She's a politician who keeps her promises. And taking a look at Canada's Prime Minister, this is an exceedingly rare thing to do nowadays. I vowed when I got elected that we were going to put it in the past, that we were going to look forward, 
that we were going to make sure that this was a place where everybody from every walk of life felt valued and respected and optimistic about the future, said Danielle Smith, and this is any citizen's most basic right to have a premier that honors her vows, doesn't abuse her powers, and respects the people she serves. Wearing a mask or not is a right that should be preserved just as every other personal freedom because if we don't stand up for the little things, it will only encourage the liberals to keep going for more significant things. Trudeau and his puppets like Rachel Notley are doing their best to suppress the freedoms Canadians enjoy, while Danielle Smith's efforts are paving the path for total liberty. So I guess there's no need to wonder why everyone admires and supports Smith. Alberta chose wisely and may their upcoming success inspire all Canadians to side with the Conservatives because they're the only people that still truly care about Canadians. Well, that's all for now, folks. Smith is making steady and smart moves towards Alberta's liberation. Don't you agree? Personal freedom should not be that hard to claim, particularly in something as basic as getting rid of masks that aren't necessary anymore. Let us know in the comments if that's what you think too. Don't forget to check out our new video on WEF corruption on our new channel Street Politics USA. Also kindly subscribe and leave a like for this video and our other videos because they go a long way in helping our latest content rank. Follow us on our new Twitter account, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.